Hey guys, how's it going? It's Morgan. I'm coming back with another test loop video. Uh, today I am riding Mr. Jeff Elmore's 2018 Beta 500 RR. Um, I literally have not even thrown my leg over this motorcycle. <laughs> uh, it's been at the shop for a week and I haven't even ridden it around the parking lot. So this will be an interesting ride. Um, for this video and for the future videos, I'm not going to do the sight lap and the actual test lap. Um, especially on someone else's bike. I'm going to take it easy, honestly, on the run because it's not my motorcycle. I don't want to crash it. I don't want to have to fix it, <laughs> um, which I would if I did crash it. Um, but so I really just, I'm, I mean, I'm going to go hard, but not nearly as hard as I would on my motorcycle. But uh, we will get a good test for sure. So uh, quick talk about this bike. Like I said, it's an 18 Beta 500 RR. It weighs 289 pounds as it sits with whatever gas is in there. I think it's pretty much full. Um, it's a pretty cool bike because it's one of the build your own beta setups, um, which I think is a really, really neat program that beta offers. And I wish some other companies would. So if you don't know how that works, um, I don't know exactly how it works, but basically you go online and you pick a bike and then you start specking it out and you tell exactly what you want. like what exhaust, what suspension, uh, what accessories like steering stabilizers, recluses, hand guards, handlebars, levers, uh, tires, I mean, everything. It's super, super cool. You can put, it's got its own badge right here with his name on it. Um, it's a really, really neat program and a program I think other manufacturers could uh, learn from because, I mean, how cool would it be to just show up at the dealership, pick up your bike, and it's done. Um, now, I know some dealerships offer that for sure, but the way Beta does it, it actually costs less money because they're doing it from the factory, so they can save money on parts anyway. So you end up saving a bunch of money, and you get all the old parts, which is really cool. So he has the clutch and the exhaust, and anyway, it's really, really awesome. Um, this bike has been lowered an inch, so it's going to be lower to the ground, which is going to be kind of funky for me. I've never really ridden a lowered bike um, in real terrain. Um, the suspension is just stock beta stuff. Uh, I think it's Marzocchi forks and um, a Sax shock. So, uh, yeah, it's got, I don't know what tires it's We've got a Shinko front tire and a crazy, crazy uh, Moto Z rear tire. Um, I'm not too worried about any of that because it's, uh, I, don't, I don't worry too much about tires, honestly. Unless I'm racing and I need to trust it 100% and whatever. But um, this is a full dual sport, guys. <laughs> so it's got a steel rack on it, blinkers, license plate, the whole thing. So that's why it's so heavy. Um, and I'm really excited to ride it, guys. <laughs> this is going to be awesome. Uh, I don't know if you can see in there, but I have my 300 Daisy here also so um make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to the old channel because i'm going to be testing daisy this morning too it is a saturday morning it is seven o'clock in the morning the sun's getting ready to come over the ridge it's just a little over 30 degrees so i'm going to get geared up and uh, get ready to go and then let's take this thing for a run see how she does Right on! Let's do this! Alright, so where I park for these things is up at the entrance to Eagle Valley, but we're going to start the test loop down there. Just let this old girl warm up a little bit, then... Awesome, it's so low, my feet are flat on the ground. That's awesome. <laughs> I haven't ridden with a recluse in a long time either. So, this would be cool, man. 
I'm excited. So we'll take this thing down back to where we start this and then we'll get going. because this thing could not be more different than either of my other bikes <laughs> uh, or this thing could not be any more different than my other motorcycle so uh, this is gonna be an awesome test so I'm gonna let my hands warm up here get my watch ready here and go
good. They're pretty good right there. Because 
you can come into stuff way slower and just twist the throttle. You don't even have to fiddle with it. Here we go. Nice. Honestly, 
This bike is pretty good, I gotta say. Like I said, Brady's gonna go nuts when he hears me talk at night about a four stroke, but the motor's really good too. You know, one nice thing about buying the Beta is that since they are a much smaller company than KTM,
You know, that's not bad, considering that was the very first time I ever rode this motorcycle. Let's head back to the truck and talk about it for a little bit. Oh, right on guys. So that was the loop. Obviously it was much slower, it was a minute and a half slower uh, than uh, on the other previous bikes. But let's be, let's, let's talk about it. First of all, it was cold. My hands are just now warming up, like just starting to warm up. And so it was really cold on my hands, so I really had to slow down for that. Uh, also, not my motorcycle. Very nice and very expensive motorcycle that I don't want to crash and cause, you know, damage to. Um, but let's talk about the, uh, let's talk about the upside. So the motor honestly is really good. It's fuel injected. Uh, it's a great motor. It's a 500. It's got tons and tons of torque. You know, it's really, really smooth. Like I said, I don't think Jeff had to do anything to this to make it run right, like, you know, with emission stuff. Um, I don't know. Maybe, Jeff, you can chime in here. Um, I know you're watching. Uh, but uh, I don't think he really had to do anything to it um, because Beta is a smaller company. They're not restricted so much as the bigger companies. Um, so the motor was awesome. I really, really like that. Uh, the Recluse saved my butt uh, quite a few times uh, because I'm not great at riding uh, four strokes and I tend to be kind of ham fisted on the clutch and the brakes and stuff like that. So that saved me uh, stalls for sure. Uh, the suspension for what it's for is really good. Um, if you're just going to be, you know, like, I, like a C to a B level, like speed through any of that stuff. I, I honestly don't think you're going to have too much trouble. Uh, it definitely doesn't like sharp edge stuff at speed. It really upsets it a lot. Also, uh, the whoops, it's fine as long as you don't get in too many big G outs. As soon as you G out, it blows right through the stroke to the bottom. Um, but all that stuff could be fixed, you know. I mean, that's just, and that's personal preference. Um, clutch was great. Brakes were great. Uh, really, I, I didn't like the tires. Uh, again, it's a Shinko. It's a 90-90-21 up front and then some uh, Moto Z in the back. But So I don't like the tires very much uh, at all, but, you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> that's easily fixed. Uh, the, uh, um, it's got a Scott steering stabilizer on there, which is nice. A couple times I think that actually maybe helped me a little bit. Um, yeah, I... Honestly, it's just a good bike. It, you know, it, it's fast, really, really, really fast when you open it up. I don't know what the top speed is, but it's quick. I can tell you that. Uh, so I think for what this thing was built for, which is what I like to call a dirty dual sport, so way more towards the dirt, but then also able to go on the roads and actually hold its own going down a, uh, you know, pavement. I think it's a great bike. Um, you know, I've never been a huge fan of betas. I like mainstream stuff that you don't have to wait for parts and all that. But honestly, Beta is sorting that out. Um, they've been sorting that out for a long time. And I, from what I understand, it's pretty easy getting parts. So, um, you know what? I mean, I don't know. This might be in my future for a dual sport. I mean, I got my XR650, which I love. But as I get older and have to kick it and kick it and kick it, um, maybe something like this down the road uh, to stay away from the big KTM Husky gas gas world. And the only reason to stay away from that, like I said, is the emissions crap. They got those things so locked up, it's really hard to, or not hard, but expensive to make them run. So, uh, yeah, I, I like it. I like the bike. Um, I guess the only downside I would say is, you know, I'm not a big four-stroke guy, but for what this is built for, that dual sport kind of like crossover thing, I would love a four-stroke. So the four-stroke's really not a downside. Um, and then the suspension. The suspension, again, it's not set up for me. Uh, it, I haven't clicked on anything. I'm not going to click on anything. You know, it's Jeff's bike. So I didn't like the suspension, but uh, that doesn't mean that it's bad. It just isn't set up for me. But And it's not set up for that. Like, I don't think anybody would be too terribly happy trying to go fast through that kind of terrain on that suspension. But, you know, whatever. So, yeah. Great bike, guys. It's awesome. Uh... I'm going to sign off right now, but I have my 300 in that van right now, so I'm getting ready to shoot that video. So uh, if you want to watch the 300 go through all this stuff and me talk about that, make sure you stay tuned and subscribe. Maybe hit the little notification bell so that you know when we post videos. 
And uh, yeah, I hope you guys get out and spread the gospel two wheels. And as always, you know what I'm going to say. I really, really, really hope that what we're doing here is inspiring you guys to work on and get out and ride your dirt bikes!